Lawrence County and Summertown renew their rivalry on the volleyball hardwood plus Collinwood in Richland. Get ready for their showdown in week number seven. It's coming up next on X Sports Tonight. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome to Exports tonight. I'm AJ Good. Starting things off with high school volleyball where a rivalry was renewed tonight at the Ralph. Summertown was taken on Lawrence County again. Lady Eagles took the first match between the two this season, but the Lady Cats were looking for some revenge. Lady Cats bringing out the new bleachers at the Ralph as they host their rivals in the Lady Eagles. Here in the first set, it's Emily Brazier getting things going here with the kill. And it's Brazier again late in the first set. Another kill. Then Brazier. One more time here in the third set, slamming that one home. Then Laura Gillum here with the first set on the line, serves it up. The Lady Cats struggle with it. That one falls in for the ace. Lady Eagles take the first set 25-19. to Here in the second set, it's Cammie Williams going to come away with the kill. Then Sadie Grace Cole with this kill attempt that can't be handled here by the Lady Eagles. Then at the end of the second set, it's Gigi Wallace going to serve it up. That one's going to pinball down for the ace. The Lady Cats take the second set, 25 to 23, to tie it up at a set apiece. Here in the third, it's Cole knocking down the kill. Then Cole, once again, is that one just out of the reach of the Lady Eagle. Then it's a Williams. Slams that one home for the kill. Then at the end of the third set, it's Cole again. Right on the back line, another kill. The Lady Cats take the third, 25 to 19. Here in the fourth, it's a Cami Garland. Sneaking that one in inside the Lady Eagle defense. Then it's Williams knocking that one down for the kill. Then a Nunder, thunderous shot here for Williams for the kill. Then at the end of the fourth, it's Reagan Frakes going to come away with the kill. The Lady Cats take the fourth set, 25 to 17 to match. Three sets to one, the first win over Summertown since 2018. Coming up next, we head on over to high school football where Richland and Columbia will meet up this coming Friday. It's never too late to change your career or to go back to school. The decision to go back to school wasn't easy. Look at me, a wife, a mother, a degree in dental for 17 years. But here I am at LTC, studying towards a career in cosmetology, and it's been the best decision I have ever made. At Smith Tax and Business Service, we offer many services. Along with personal income tax prep, we also offer tax preparation for corporations and partnerships. If you're a small business and looking for some extra help, give us a shout and we'll get you fixed up. Call Mary Beth Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Pulaski Street, phone 931-244-6633. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome back to X Sports Tonight. Now over to high school football where Richland and Collinwood will meet up in a big region showdown coming up on Friday night. Each side is looking for a huge win and a leg up on the competition. It will be a big game for both the Trojans and the Raiders on Friday night. Collinwood has won four in a row to sit at 4-1 on the season and 2-0 in the region, while Richland will host at 3-3 overall and 2-1 in the league. These two met up in an instant classic a season ago in Wayne County, with the Trojans coming out on top. No doubt playoff positioning could be on the line for both sides, and each is looking forward to a physical battle in Giles County. You know, like I said, assignment football, you know, knowing who I got to tackle and getting there and being there. Uh, for offense, it's about finishing. Uh, you know, we, we, we've, we've driven the ball on lots of people this year. Uh, we haven't put it in the end zone as much as we want to. So we gotta, we got to finish drives. Uh, you know, we can't turn the ball over. That's been a problem here lately, so we got to fix that and uh, just finish. Again, you know, we're playing really good defense. Uh, last four games, I don't think we've given up even about 20 points in, in the last four games. So, you know, we continue to play good defense. You're always in the ball game. Uh, you know, I think that's important. And then, uh, you know, we, we're going we're gonna to get a little bit. We didn't look too good throwing the ball. We're going to try to work on that just a little bit. But, again, we, we're going to run the football and, and make you, you know, make you stop us. That does it for Exports tonight. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys once again tomorrow night. 
Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.